Hi everyone. So for this video, I thought I'd talk about how to find your RSS feed on blogger.com and how to upload it to another site. Um, I've already done blog posts on my blog about what an RSS feed is and what it's used for, so I'm not really going to get into that in this particular video. Um, so what you're looking for is you can go on your main page right here and there's two ways to find your RSS feed. You can go down, if you have this subscribe to widget, you can use that. You click on posts and you look for the Atom feed, that's what you're looking for. Or as a default on every blog, blog or blogger blog, <laughs> say that three times fast, is you're going down here and see it says subscribe to and you're clicking on the posts, the Adam feed posts. So when you click on this, it takes you to this site right here. This is called FeedBurner. This is the default um, blogger um, where it relocates you when you click on that. And it's so readers can click on that and use one of these um, software programs right here to subscribe to your blog to read your RSS feed. Um, as a reader, this is extremely useful. As a writer, I find this very frustrating because it makes it very difficult to find your RSS feed the first time. So this right here is not your RSS feed. This is just an extra site to help you read things. What you want to do is you have to get rid of this in order to access your RSS feed. So I'll show you how to do that. So what you do is you go to oops, your blog right here and then you have this the blogging dashboard and you go to settings. So here I am in settings for non-techie blogging and then you have to go to other. Alright, this is what you're looking for right here. It says post feed redirect. So it's redirecting me to feed burner, which I don't want. So you have to click on this and you have to delete it. So you have to get rid of this basically so it's not redirecting you to anyone. Then you click save settings to make sure it saves and then we're going to go back to the blog. So here it is right here. So we're going back to the blog. Now we're going to scroll down back to our Atom feed. And here it is. Okay, this looks really scary, but don't worry about it. What you're looking for right here, this is all your Atom feed right here, but what you're looking for is the address at the top in your search bar. So see right here it says nontechieblogging.blogspot.com slash feed slash post slash default. This is your feed. That's what you want. All this scary stuff, don't even worry about that. So what you want to do is click on that and you want to copy it. So you're copying the feed and then that's where you go to whatever site you want to upload your blog to. In this case I'm going to use Goodreads. I already have my blog on Goodreads but it's just to show you. So when people you know go on Goodreads they could see you know me submitting my blog. So you click you know so you'd find it you'd find the RSS symbol you're clicking edit blog settings so what you want to do on any one of your sites is you want to get to the menu or whatever it is the option where it's asking you to paste your blogs RSS feed or your Atom feed it's the same thing so right here it says external blog feed so because I already have one set up it's not asking me but if I were to click change so that's where you do the address so you would well I would have to delete this and then I would have to paste the new feed. So now it's looking so if I wanted to it would redirect or send non-techie blogging posts. I don't want this on you know this particular site but that's how you do it. So all you're doing is looking for that address up there. So I hope that was helpful for you. Again um, you're not looking for this feed burner thing you have to go to settings if you want to find your blog feed. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, if you'd like to find out more blogging tips and tricks, you're always welcome to visit my blog. It's nontechieblogging.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for watching.